Hi guys, it's your girl Five and I'm back with another reaction video. Tonight is Bill Burr, How to Keep a Man Happy. Let's get right into it. The woman happy, but I don't think they do it enough to help you guys out how to make a man happy, right? The great thing about men is we're fucking simple. We're fucking simple, okay? So here's the thing right here. You wanna make a guy happy? If you're with a good guy, okay, this is also all you gotta do, okay? How about four times a year? Once a season. <laughs> You go out to the kitchen without him saying shit. You go out to the kitchen, you make a sandwich, you get him a beer, you walk out, you give it to him, you don't say a word, and you just fucking leave. <laughs> That's all you gotta do. Every three months, you do that, you keep him happy. That's all it takes. Now, I know right out of the gate, this is coming off sexist, right? It's because I'm saying, go out in the kitchen, make your man a sandwich. I'm not saying women belong in the kitchen, barefoot and pregnant, rubbing my balls. I'm not saying that. Okay? I'm just saying, women, go in the kitchen. Just go in the kitchen four times in a year, make a sandwich. A toddler could do that. Put it together, grab two slices of pre-made, pre-sliced bread, two handfuls of pre-murdered meat, put a little mustard on it, grab a beer, walk out, just hand it to him, don't say shit, and then fucking leave. And when I say leave, I mean leave. I don't mean walk into another room for like 10 minutes and then stick your head back and just be like, did you like it? Was it bad? Great. Because downstairs, we need to, don't yell at me, I just made you a sandwich. I don't mean that, I mean leave. Get in the car and fucking get out of here. Take the kids, drive down the street, Go see Lord of the Rings a couple of times and leave your man in the stunned silence of what you just did. If you ever want to see your guy get emotional, you ever want to see a man get emotional, you make him a fucking sandwich that he didn't ask for. I'm telling you, he's going to have to dry the tears with the bread. He's going to be so shocked. Like, you, you made this for me? I didn't even ask. Oh, my God. I think she still gives a fuck. <laughs> yeah. Quick story. Me and my wife bought a house in 2011. And by me and my wife, I mean I paid for it. I... <laughs> she hates that joke, but I don't give a shit. It's true. And she's always breaking my balls. Don't put your shoes over here. They belong over there. Yeah, well, I bought over there. And I bought over here. So I'll put my fucking shoes where I want to. Oh, shirt's coming off. Where's it going? <laughs> right? <laughs> so we get into the house. She's scoping out the house because she's smart. She's finding rooms to get sun. She's checking out the closet space. And me, like an idiot, I want to check out the garage. For whatever reason, I'm drawn to this thing. And I go down, I open the door, and the last people hadn't cleaned it out. There was like a busted refrigerator, an old file cabinet, an ab roller, something from a luau. There was like seven failed businesses in this goddamn thing. And I got to start lugging this shit out in like 90 degree weather as a redhead, hating my life, right? I got three hours into this job. My forearms were cut. I had dirt, sweat, cobwebs all over me. I wanted to burn down this fucking house. I was ready to leave, but out of nowhere, my wife showed up. Big smile on her face, and she'd made me a sandwich. Cut it in half diagonally, which is love, right? They don't cut it in half. They might as well frisbee it at you. Like, here you go, you fucking piece of shit. Hose yourself off. Diagonal you should speed. live out here. You should live out here, right? Cut in half diagonally, poured Fritos in the middle, and gave me an ice cold beer. She did that five years ago. Do you know to this day, every once in a while, I still think about that sandwich. <laughs> it's unbelievable. It just pops in my head like this fond memory. I'll just be by myself talking in the car. Remember that time she made me a sandwich? It was unbelievable. She cut it in half, Fritos with an ice cold beer. I felt like a king. That's all it takes. You know what it felt like in that moment? If, you, remember that, you remember that movie, uh, Shawshank Redemption? You know that scene where the prisoners are drinking the beer on the rooftop with the sun in their face? That's what it felt like. The only thing missing was Morgan Freeman's voice narrating over the top. And for 20 minutes, Bill Burr felt like a free man. All right, I'm out of time. You guys were so awesome. Thank you so, so much for coming out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really had a great time. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for recommending this to me, my five-star crew. But let me ask you, men, is it true? Is this really?
really true? Can I really win and, and just cut a sandwich diagonally with some Fritos in the middle and a beer and leave? And you guys will love me. <laughs> Let me know. Comment, 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 comment. Make sure you guys subscribe. I love you, my five-star crew. Good night.